Weirdy beasts. It's weird snowy day. Weird snowy day. Katie Cat saw it first. It was a single white flake falling from the sky. Now, Katie Cat wasn't just any old cat. She was half cat, half owl. Too wit, too woo, too wit, too woo. She hooted. I think it's starting to snow. As the sn more snowflakes drifted to the ground, the weirdy beasts crowded around the classroom window. Mrs. Wonky, Mrs. Wonky, they shouted. It's snowing. Now their teacher, Mrs. Creature, was half wolf, half donkey, and did not like being called Mrs. Wonky. She prowled up to them, and then her face lit up. Calm down, children, she said. Let's get out gloves, coats, and hats from outside the. But before she could say the word classroom, all the weirdy beasts were wrestling their way to the door. They ended up in one big heap of noses, paws, tails, and claws. Dabby dog barked. Woof. Tony pony neighed. Nay. Penny pig oinked. Oink. And Ricky rabbit, who was a crabbit, clacked his crabby claws. Clack. They soon untangled themselves and. Soon they were pulling on their boots, but all the wrong ones. Big hooves went into little wellies. Little paws, paws waggled about in big wellies. Ricky Rabbit's claws snapped open. And he snapped open, and his gloves landed on Dabby Dog's head. He can't. I can't see. He yapped. Finally, Miss Creature managed to get some order. Settle down, children. Young animals are going to have to come out with us. You have to be good. Wait for me! Trumpeted a little voice. Who's that? The animals cried, looking around. It was Ellie Mouse. She was all elephant with her trunk and her tusks, but she was the only the size of a mouse. By now, the weirdy beasts were very excited. They bounced up and down like jack in the boxes. Outside, the snow was settling. It looked like a sparkly white carpet. Finally, Mrs. Creature turned the key, looked back at the children with raised eyebrows, and opened the door. The weirdy beasts burst out into the snowy yard. Before long, Katie Cat was perching on the branch of a tree, pelting Tony. Pony with big fat snowballs. 
He was stopping them with his wings and spraying Penny Pig with snow. Ricky Rabbit was trying to roll up the snow, but his crabby claws kept crushing them. It's not fair! He howled as all the animals wiggled and giggled and threw snowballs at him. Penny Pig rolled on the ground, waving her trotters and her fluffy squirrel tail. Look, I'm a snow angel. No, you're not. You're a snow piggle. Penny Pig. Fell about laughing. I know, Katie Cat cried. Let's make a snow beast. Stand very still, Ricky Rabbit said, as all the all the animals crowded around Katie Cat. What are you up to now, Mrs. Creature asked. As the weirdy beast parted, there was a perfect snow beast. That looks just like Katie Cat," said Mrs. Creature. "How clever you are, children!" Suddenly, the snow beast let out a loud, sweet sneeze, a meow, and a two wit two woo, and little bits of snow flew everywhere. As Katie Cat shook the shook the snow from her fur, tails, and wings, everybody oinked and neighed and barked with loud laughter. Even Mrs. Creature howled at the fun. Stop, Ricky Rabbit! Shouted, "Where's Ellie Mouse?" The animals looked this way. They looked that way. But Ellie Mouse was nowhere to be seen. Nobody moved. The weirdy beasts were as still as statues. <laughs> be careful, children," Mrs. Creature said. "Ellie Mouse is a very tiny. She must be under all this snow." The weirdy beasts. Tiptoed carefully around, dusting the snow away. Ricky Rabbit started to grab the snow with his claws. No, the others cried. Not you! You'll crush her with those claws. Katie Cat perched on the tree for a better view. She looked down. At the yard, trying to see some sign of Ellie. Tony Pony circled around, watching the white ground for any sign of a little gray body. There was none. Mrs. Creature had an idea. Stop, children," she said. "If we all listen very carefully, we might just hear a teeny tiny trumpety trump, and the, all the weirdy beasts stood very still. Not one wing twitched, not one feather fluttered, no one, not one whisker waggled. Still, there was no sight or sound of Ellie Mouse." Just a minute," Katie Cat said. Her owl ears pricking. I can hear something. Squeak, squeak. When a voice, a very tiny voice, bump, bump, went the door. A very tiny bump. Knock, knock. It went. A very tiny knock. I can hear it too," Ricky Rabbit said. "That's because you've got big ears," said Penny Pig. 
They all listened again. Let me out! Came the voice. Let me out! It said. Came again. Then ever so loudly. Let me out! All the animals rushed across the yard, opening the door. All they could see was a woolly hat. There's something inside, Katie Cat said, as a tiny trunk appeared, lifting the hat just enough to show a pair of bright eyes. You shut me in, Ellie grumbled. How do you expect me to reach that handle? After that, they all took turns to give her rides in the snow. It was the best and weirdest weirdy beast snowy day ever.